of the day, and I've made my character. I'm just figuring out a name as we speak, because a lot of names have been taken. And it's a long list of names. I'm trying to remember my name from Neverwinter. What that name was. Uh, Gunslinger. Mark the Rogue. Let's try that. Oh, I don't even have enough space. Mon Mark Van Tree. Name contains forbidden characters. What is forbidden about it? Is it spaces? Arquitas. Name is available. It's the dumbest name I've ever had to use for a character, but... English synthesizer. But yet, it speaks in Japanese. That's a girl's voice, what the fuck? I guess that's not enough. Current settings confirmed. If I don't like my character, I don't like what I've done, I'll start a new character. And if I ever remember that damn name I gave my character and never went to as a rogue, I will use that name. The marker created the world. And that was the planet. Ethereon. Let's bring back memories. But man destroyed it. Celestial Ooh. Two goddesses. Also, oh, they're like the fates of like Greeks, Greek mythology, sort of. But just if they if they go away, we're all fucked. <laughs> Can't they just like, you know, restart the calendar? Oh, so they... Really? So they began fighting? Oh my. And she's the innocent young maiden we must help. So it's the surface. Did and that's me. She falls into my hands. I take it or literally all on top of me. As the story goes, it's, it's kind of an interesting story. Oh, fishing. Some astral adventures have multiple endings. Try collecting all of them to see the different ways the story can unravel. Sounds intriguing enough. I'm actually kind of excited about this, uh, to see how it turns out. Mm. 
application pro. We have made it to land, boys. And you probably didn't get it wasn't really much you missed. Your legs are a little shaky after you disembark. Oh, as you just the ship gaze across the Check it to me. Yeah. You've already gone over the details of the mission, so you can count it surprising good. Combat C six. Alright. For your civic duty. You're interrupted from wood gathering by a penetrating sound of your own name. Marcutus over here. Head on the swivel, you can stand in the perimeter and hope no one noticed you nodding yourself within a strange, self bolstering smile. There's a girl waving at you, Fianna, no doubt. The mayor's daughter, the girl has been tasked with escorting you, wanting you to appear suddenly. Suitably dependable, uh, this move from your garment. I understand. Left click the ground or move your character with WASD. Um, learn how to move. Yeah, learn how to move. The login is hanging on my way. What's up, Fianna? What you got for me? Upon reaching the girl, you offer the most differential of bows, bequeathing her the bounty letter from your pocket. You do, after all, want to be paid for your services. Give us off of your graces, take the letter swiftly, scrolling across the letter on the bottom. I must admit, you're younger than I expected. Uh, you about the same age as me, girl. She hands the letter back. But your credentials must be in order for you to, for my father to hire you. Yes, because no one has heard the name of Arcutus yet in this lands. He's not the easiest man to impress, all right. She's in love with me, isn't she? Did I introduce myself? Fianna. Fianna Aguirre. The mayor's daughter. Yeah, basically. Learn how to move. Report to the Fianna's daughter. Yep, complete. How to obtain mercenary. The wolves here have been right handful. They have been a right handful lately. If we let them be much longer, who knows what to attack next? Why stop next children? You were tasked with escorting me correctly. Slaps you on the chest, assures you do everything in your power to keep her alive. Oh, she's rambunctious. She wants me to kill wolves. Yeah, I like the perfect look I gave my character with his eyes. He is, he is honestly not amused by her bullshit. The earliest twinkle you yet the vacate Fianna's inquisitive baby browns. Then perhaps you'd allow me to take a glance at the weapon you're carrying. I like how the fact she unless she look don't get me wrong and nothing like that. It's fine, every lady wants to ride my joys. But a rosy pink spread across her cheeks is just I've been fascinated with. Capacity weapon and casualty says beside outside the world and long to be a gunslinger and another pacifist travel the land. Figure are a little interested in some nails, but that's another conversation. Beat open it and equip your weapon. Minor health potion. Except open your backpack, equip your units for so, press B, open back back. Right click. Alright. Yeah, it just gotta be awesome. That power appears to stretch a force, you can see its shiny surface reflecting in the whites of Fianna's eyes. You just literally told her to talk to the hand. I get it. I won't touch it again. You better not. It's mine. I really don't want to see the fuss is about. I only want to hold it a bit. Regis her pick toe. Be on our way. Yeah, we really should be. Snippy, callous, brazen. Why this Fiona seems like an entirely different person than the one you met only five minutes prior. Not keen on spending the rest of your time here accompanying Miss Hate Me Not. You suggest that maybe at some point in the future, you might just let her try out your weapon. My man is still not abused. It's being defeated. up swords and grabs your hands. Do you mean it? We should hurry then. See my uncle. He's a citizen warrior like you. I should be perfect to save with someone like him. And my man actually talked. Is he that amazing?
left click. Oh, I actually have to press one and two. I can fight at range, bitch. You're next. Watch out, here comes the big one. No, don't click on chat, you mother trucker. I guess the mouse really doesn't help you. Does the numpad work? I guess the numpad doesn't work. Here comes my final attack. Super Dragon Fist. Damn, damn! Why do I need guns when I can just do that? Beat someone to the death with my hands. Poor Fiona must be scared out of her mind. Where is Fiona? Oh. That move, that perfectly executed, breathtaking move. Fiona's voice quivers. Yep. Thank you, more XP. Fiona's adoring gaze of our battle defense is filling you, especially cavalier brushing invisible dust off your garments. It's true art of ultimate moves. It is gonna cost SP. Unless you're in battle, it means you can't go around over really killing every enemy you see. Why the fuck not? Turn yellow. F. She really wants to be one. You can't do that, don't you? Fiona helps just like father, but I don't feel you fear one day. I'll prove to everyone that Fiona Aguirre is the first to be reckoned with. She, she, I understand. She scares you. I want to get rid of the chat. They're evil. That's who they are. We must not trust them. Says the person coming out of the black hole. Oh damn. He told you. I mean, it says, fuck your gifts. A ruby star army. I'll beat you with my war hammer. I'll make sure you go at him one by one. You don't even have a weapon when you're gonna fight. Who's that, a fairy? Oh, her sister's guarding me? I don't even know who their father is. Maybe you have to see this man. I 
I wish I could pause the cutscenes for you guys, but my my thing only runs for five minutes. I call upon thee to destroy. Wow, the golem really kicked his ass. He's just like, what happened? She summoned someone to come fight with her. That's just cheating. But can I, uh. Take that! Oops, I had a face, boy. Oh. Run away! He's mad! Oops, you ain't reaching me. Stay back. Do you have? There we go, finally. Oh, that's just cheating. Angela swing from the hammer, you good. Yeet. Oh. It's true. Why does she look so young? I guess because she lost her power. Do you know? Summoning the powers of four. It's like they TP'd out of there. Just like, nope. Not done with this day. Mom says I'm special. Yeah, the only shame is literally not being able to show some parts of the cutscenes, because, like, it records for five minutes and it'll cut out. But honestly, you guys really didn't miss much. They were just basically jabbering about... Missing, or oh, saying they really missed each other when they didn't. So, yeah. You woke up in slumber by frobbing headache, ripening just beneath your temples. Wiping the crust from your eyes with a groan, you push yourself up from a familiar bed to find yourself in an equally as unfamiliar room. I mean, he should after what all has happened. A smart alarm is your lack of clothes. Covering yourself in the blanket, you dash towards the nearby chest of drawers where your garments lie carefully folded and quickly expedited it on to your frame. Odyssey has always been one of your finest qualities. Not there on a body. But there, you have to excuse me, I didn't notice you were here. Where I'm gonna end off the episode. Level 3 Hello Nurse. 
Yep. So, uh, thank you all for watching, and, uh, yeah, take care.